But anyway, we're broadcasting from Park City, Utah tonight. And uh, we want to fire up with a couple of items on my news you can use list. There's two things that have happened the last couple of days. Uh, first of all, the Fed in their meeting earlier this week, I believe it was Tuesday, announced a strong inclination to raise rates, not at the end of this year, but at the March meeting. They have a generally a monthly meeting of the Fed governors, and they have indicated, uh, they've thrown out these trial balloons, and we've talked about this in the past, that they will probably be inclined to raise sooner rather than later. We thought it would be third quarter of this year. It looks like it might be first quarter. So expect the first rate hike by the Federal Reserve probably in March, less than a month from now, two to three weeks, I would suspect. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you can look back to some previous calls if you want to see how that will affect business. But the long and short of it is, as the Fed rates go up, interest rates to buy homes or for home mortgages goes up, and it is more costly uh, to be able to make a monthly payment. And that, in turn, puts downward pressure on pricing. And actually, total availability, number of buyers in the market will disappear uh, at slight increments with every price increase that the Fed um, voices on us. So we'll see what happens. Um, I would imagine this first one will be small, maybe a quarter of a point. Uh, but once again, we will we'll see what happens. Number two, second item tonight, is the uh, median home sale prices of new houses sold last month, that's December 2021, were for, this is now brand new houses. This is not, uh, you know, somebody's owned it and then they're reselling it. This is a new built house. But for the first time in probably 13 years, the price went down for new houses uh, during the month of December. Uh, and, and they call it significantly. It's, it's something like 9% drop. Um, currently, there's also about a six-month supply of new homes on the market. So I would expect, you know, one of two things is happening. If houses are hard to find and the prices are going down, the only solution for that, the only thing that will cause that, stagflation. But the fact that we've got a six-month supply now of new houses, which is about a market parity, that's what they're looking for, is about six months. If, if they build any more, um, and these prices go up because a lot of the first time home buyers are first time home buyers, or the new home buyers tend to be first time home buyers. As that price goes up, it's going to be harder for those folks to afford it. So, you know, I think you're going to see builders continue to drop back on what they're building. And, you know, that'll have an effect on the existing home market down the road, too. So, anyway, that's news you can use.